Now everything we've looked at so far has been a query parameter. What a query parameter means when you hear someone say that is the parameter is used in the data set. Okay? Now you can actually declare a report parameter and it's just simply a, report, a parameter that's available for use elsewhere in the report other than just the data set. Okay. So actually some of the ones we've done, anytime you go here and declaratively make a parameter here, you are declaring a global scope for this particular parameter, as opposed to coming and creating one native to the data set. So I want to show you in this one how to do banded rows. You know what banded rows are, right? Where each row is a different color uh, or the odd color, the odd numbered rows are one color, the even numbered rows are another color, or you can do banded columns. It's the same principle, okay? What we're going to do, uh, we're going to, I'll show you how to do banded rows first, and then I'll show you how to do uh, changing color based on values of the rows, okay? So first things first, let's get a data source going here. So we use production, and we'll get a data set. And I'm just going to, as I've been doing, I mean, I'm not trying to focus on making a beautiful report. I'm trying to teach you how it all works here. So we're just going to get the sales order header info. Now, in the sales order header table, there's this column. Uh, where are you? Total due. Just file that away for the time being. Okay. Now let's drag ourselves a beautiful table. size that down a bit and add another column here and so we'll get some things and some more things okay. run it just the genericest report most generic genericest I like genericest <laughs> um, all right so now I want to show you how to do banded right okay banded super easy okay so come over here go to your tablets table whatever you want to think of it as Highlight the row. Okay. And notice over here we're under the properties. We are on the row. We can do it at a column level. We can do this at the row level. Okay. What you want to do to do a banded column is you want to change the background color. So if you don't see this, if you're in Visual Studio, you need to hit F4 to bring the properties window up. Or you need to go to the view if you're in Report Builder and go to Properties. So highlight the row, go to background color, and when you drop it down, you want to click on, oops, sorry, you want to click expression, right? That's what we want to add in here. So we want to come down here and say expression. And we're going to use the choice. If you remember, we have the, uh, we have to put equal. And again, I can't control the font size here until I can zoom in afterwards. But so what I want to do is I could do some sort of a, a modulo. Like we could actually get the row number that we're on here. So we could say, hey, whatever the row number that we're on, if it is divisible by two evenly, then we want it to be transparent. But if there is a remainder after dividing by two, then we want to color it. Uh, corn silk or beige or aquamarine or what other whatever color that we want to work with here so we have to actually figure out the row number of the data set okay so the row number is an important column here and so when we're looking over here we've got to go to our parameters here uh, and so we got to find it and I, I always struggle I can't ever remember uh, where it actually is but it's a row number um, Common functions, uh, right there. I could just never, never remember where it is. Okay, so when we're in our scope down here, so we just say if the row number of data set one, you see that's the name of my data set. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and I'll show you here this simple part. Uh, if the row number equals three, then we want to make this uh, blue, else transparent. So now we can see it. So what we're doing is we're doing basically an if statement. If we're on the third row in data set one, the background for the row is set to blue. 
otherwise it's transparent uh, since it's on a white background it will look white okay. now this isn't going to do banded rows but it will show us how we can change the background of a particular row so there's the third row inside of our data set so now what we want to do is figure out how to do every other row so what you've got to figure out when you're doing every other row is how the modulo or the modulus operator works. Okay, so here, I, if you're not familiar with it, obviously you can go to Google, but I'll show you a fast way that you can kind of play with this on your own. In SQL, the modulo operator is the percent sign. So I could say select 2, modulo 2. And what this is really telling me is that if I divide 2 by 2, is there a remainder left over? Okay. If there is no remainder, if 2 is divisible by 2, then modulo is 0. If, though, I say 2 divided by 3, is there a remainder left over? Yes, there is. Okay. What I care about is that it's non-zero. I don't care whether it's 1 or negative 16 or 2 billion 43. I care that it's non-zero. So I'll say that, try to say this clearly here. Uh, if the remain or uh, if the modulo is zero, then there is no remainder left over. Okay. So what we would do is we could say, okay, if I'm on the first row and I divide it by two, is there a remainder left over? Yes. If I'm now on the second row and I divide it by 2, will there be a remainder left over? No. 0 means no remainder. Okay. If I'm on the third row and I divide it by 2, will there be a remainder left over? Yes. If I'm on the fourth row, will there be a remainder left over? No. You see what we're doing? We're figuring out odd and even, right? So all of the even numbers that are divided by 2 have a, re ha sorry, all of the odd numbers that are divided by 2 have a remainder left over. All of the even numbers are evenly dis divisible by 2, and therefore there is no remainder left over. So we can use that knowledge. We can now go back to our report, go to the row, go to the background, change our expression, okay, to say if the row number modulo 2, so now we can go to our operators and you can actually see your mod operator here. Okay? So mod 2 okay, equals 0. Okay? So if the row divided by 2 is 0, make the result, the background color, blue. Otherwise, make it transparent. Now, blue is probably a terrible choice for this, but it will stand out, man. <laughs> I mean, we're going to know it, okay? So basically, this is a way to just determine which is the odd-numbered rows and which are the even-numbered rows. Okay? So I say go. We run this. And sure enough, we've banded our rows. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a horrible decision from a color standpoint. I, I always struggle, and you may and, and you may not, but I struggle with how to name these colors. Uh, you can click on the more colors and find the names of them. Like, I never seem to remember corn silk or pale goldenrod. Okay? So just choose your palette up here and then look for this name. That's what you're going to be using. So again, I got there by uh, highlighting, going to background, dropping it down and going to the more colors and that's where you learn what the names are transparent is the default so instead of no color it's just transparent um, I'll make mine uh, what would I pick out that we could actually see that wouldn't annoy us a papaya whip I love it uh, so then I just change my expression so instead of blue Pile whip. Let's see if I did it. I can't remember if there was a space or non-space there. So maybe not. Yeah, that's a little better, right? I mean, that's not 
awful. <laughs> I think not like that blue was. Okay. So this is one way that you can do the banded rows. I got to tell you, though, this is not a foolproof way. When you start working with uh, drill down reports, you're going to want to extend this a little more. And to be honest, the examples that I could show you here won't cover every situation you're going to get into. And so at that point, what you need to do is just kind of get in a search engine. And that's your search term, banded rows. Um, when you start wanting to extend what I've talked about, banded rows. So just go to your search engine of choice and look reporting services, banded rows, how to do banded rows and reporting services, something like that. Uh, because, I mean, frankly, I could show you all that stuff, but it, it, as soon as you start working with it, yours may be different because you're using something different. I don't know. Uh, so I'll show you the basics of how it works, and then I'll tell you if you want more, here's where you go. Now, I wanted to show you how we kind of got onto this was the report parameters. So I wanted to show you first how to do banded rows, but I also wanted to show you how you can highlight a cell or change a cell based on a report parameter. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to come up here to parameters, and I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to say um, expensive orders. And I'm... This is actually not going to be a query parameter. So I don't have a prompt. It doesn't matter what this is going to be. This is a float data type, which is a number with a decimal place. And it's a hidden parameter. The user will not actually see it. And what I want to do is I want to set the default value to be, um, say, 40,000. Okay. Now, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the total do rectangle. Okay, So not to the textual value, but to the actual rectangle that's containing it here. And I'm going to go to the background here. Okay, So I'm going to change it. Notice that it propagated this. Okay? Each one of these rectangles down here has picked up the row expression that we typed in. You see, you can see it saying papaya whip. But I want to change this one. And what I'm going to do, not do this at all, okay, we're going to say if the field total do is greater than or equal, which if you don't know what the operators are, you can actually go down here and type them in and just double click on them, is greater than or equal to my parameter expensive order, okay, then I want it to be, man, I wish I knew, um, Corn silk, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was one of them. Uh, else, um, then I could actually have an, another nested if operator here or have a switch, uh, or I'll just make it transparent. Okay. And so now we see for those that are greater than 40,000, that's actually the corn silk behind the scenes, which is just not different enough. Um, I don't like that. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to, I'm going to change this one back and I'm going to actually change the, uh, the font right here. So our font right here, we can change all of these things based on expressions as well. So like the font weight down here, we can change that to bold. We can do an expression. So here, if uh, the total due is greater than or equal to the expensive order parameter, then we want it to be bold, else normal. So you, this is where we're using a report parameter here, not a query parameter. This might stand out a little more. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. You could see these guys don't exceed it. These guys do. They turn bold, right? I mean, you can play around and do what you want with it and, and manipulate it as necessary. You could do nested uh, statements in here as well, uh, but it can kind of start to get a little bit complex. So play around. You now know how to at least do the banded parameters uh, or banded rows. You know how to work with report parameters. I think we're ready for an exercise.